latitudes and longitudes, an aircraft leaves town P, 30 degrees south, 17 degrees east, and flies due north to Q, 60 degrees north, 17 degrees east. It then flies at an average speed of 300 knots, 8 hours, due west to town R. Determine A. The distance PQ in nautical miles, 2 max. B. The position of town R, 4 max. Then part C. The local time at R, the local time at Q is 3.12 p.m., 2 max. And then D. The distance traveled by the aircraft from Q to R to the nearest kilometer. Even that 1 kilometer is equal to 0 0.539957 nautical miles. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. And we are going to begin by drawing a rough sketch of these uh, towns P and Q. Just to establish whether they lie on the circle of latitude or the great circle. So we start with P. P 30 degrees south. The latitude 30 degrees south. We are going to indicate it there. That is 30 degrees south. Then 17 degrees east is the longitude. The longitude that the 17 degrees east is there. And um, this is the position P. That is the position P. Q is 60 degrees north. So 60 degrees north, I'm going to indicate it there. So that is how you have 60 degrees north. And uh, 17 degrees east on the same longitude. So that is where Q is. Then it flies an average speed of... 300 knots for it was due west, due west to town R. So from Q, due west means directly west along the same latitude. So what you don't have is the longitude of that R. So this is just the sketch. You enable us to see these distances properly. Uh, this is um, where we have R. So then the same latitude with the Q, but you don't know the longitude now. Having seen that now, we are going to get the distance PQ in nautical miles. First thing is to identify which type of distance is this PQ. Uh, PQ is distance along the great circle. Since it is distance along the meridian or the longitude. So how do you get distance along the great circle in nautical miles? The formula is uh, easy. You can see they are lying on the same uh, longitude, the same longitude, 17 degrees east, but on different latitudes. So to get the distance in nautical miles, we take the latitude difference times 60. So theta represents the latitude difference. So the latitude difference, how do you get it? Uh, you can see we have a 60 Q is 60 degrees north. P is 30 degrees south. So the latitude difference is given by, we add like 60 plus 30 degrees. This will give 90 degrees. So that is how you get the latitude difference. So upon doing that now, the distance would be given by Latitude difference theta, which is 90, degrees times 60. And this one will give 5,400 nautical miles. So that is how we get it. Simbo, simbo, we go to the second simbo. part of the question. So B, the position of R. Now when you look at the diagram, uh, you notice um, R is due west, due west of Q directly west so that one tells us that um the longitude will be the west so if you trade the position of uh, r uh, the latitude is uh, 60 degrees north then since uh, we don't know the longitude we just call it x degrees and that one will be to the west by just looking at um position of q 17 degrees east uh, and this one is um given the information that R moves 
due west of Q uh, to be given by that x degrees. Well, so what you are supposed to calculate is these x degrees. How do we get that? Are we going to use the information that you're given? And from the information here, you're given the average speed. Uh, it moves from Q to R is 300 knots for 8 hours. 300 knots for 8 hours. So you're given speed in knots and you're given time. So how do we get distance? So distance, distance QR will be given by speed times time. In this case, um, the speed is 300 knots times time, which is 8 hours. When you multiply knots uh, times hours, you get the distance in nautical miles. So this will give 2,400 nautical miles. That is the distance QR. So having that distance, we'll be able now to get the position, the longitude of R. How do we get, which kind of distance is this? Uh, QR is distance along the small circle or distance along the circle of latitude. How do we get distance in nautical mile along the circle of latitude? This is how we get it. Distance is obtained by 60 multiplied by alpha multiplied by cosine of theta whereby alpha is the longitude difference, the longitude difference. Then we have um, theta, which is the latitude angle. So the distance, which is uh, 2,400 nautical miles, is equals to 60 times alpha, that is alpha is the longitude difference, times the cosine of the latitude angle. Look at these two positions. They are lying on the same latitude. The latitude is 60 degrees. So you can see now we'll be able to calculate. So make alpha the subject formula. And this will be given by 2400 divided by 60 cos 60 degrees. And this will give, um, when you work out this one using a calculator, you get this one as um, 80 degrees. Get this one as 80 degrees. So you get 80 degrees. That is the longitude difference. How do we get that longitude difference? We get a longitude difference after working it out with 17 degrees. So we already have 17 degrees for Q. So that longitude difference is represent the difference in longitude between these two places that is uh, Q and R. So this is how we get the longitude difference. So this longitude difference is obtained by taking 17 degrees plus X degrees that is for R. That is what is going to give us the, the longitude difference. And uh, when you work out for X, you get X is um, 60. So that is the longitude of R. Therefore, the position of R will be given by 60 degrees north. Then X is a 63 degrees to the west. To the west. Simple. Now you Simple. notice when you get Simple. the longitude uh, difference between these two places. That is a 63 and 17. 17 east. One is to the west, the other one is to the east. When you get the longitude difference now, you just take 63 plus 17, which will give you 80 degrees. So that is how you get the position of R, is 60 degrees north, 63 degrees west. Now the other question is the local time at R, the local time at Q is um, 3.12 p.m. When you're calculating time, we use longitudes. And uh, position of R, R is, uh, I just use the longitude. The longitude of R is 63 degrees west. And um, the one for Q, 
Q is um, 17 degrees east. And you're given the time at Q is 3, 12 p.m. So I repeat again, when you're calculating time, we use longitudes. So the first thing is to get the longitude difference. Longitude difference will be given by, we already have it, 63 plus 17 degrees, which will give 80. And then we know that for every one degree, there's a difference of four minutes. So there's a difference in time between these two longitudes. So what about uh, 80 degrees? What, the, what time difference would there be? So we just take 80, multiply by four, and this will give 320 minutes. 320 minutes so 320 minutes is uh, 5 hours and 20 minutes so between uh, these two places R and Q there's a difference of 5 hours 20 minutes so we need to know which which place is ahead of time and which one is behind of time we know that places to the east of the prime meridian are always ahead of time so east or uh, 70 degrees east will be ahead of time so to get um Time for R, uh, we just take 3 12 p.m., which is the same as uh, 15 12 hours. And uh, since uh, R will be behind of time, it is the west of Q, we subtract 5 hours and 20 minutes. So we just subtract that. So this will give um, 909. 52 hours or you can give it as 9.52 and this one will be AM positive behind of time. Then the last one, the last part of the question, the distance traveled by the aircraft from Q to R to the nearest kilometer. So this is quite easy since we already have uh, the distance Q to R. Distance Q to R is uh, 2400. Now that is what you're given. It's 2400. 2400 nautical miles. And uh, we just given the conversion rate that you're going to use. So one kilometer is equals to that. Uh, so we need even to repeat this. So to convert um, 24. 100 nautical miles convert these we just need to divide so if one kilometer is equals to 0 0.539957 what about 2400 so using that we just need to divide this by 0 0.353995 and when you do that uh, this is what you're going to get so 2400 divided by 0 0.53 and this will give um, the nearest kilometer you get uh, 4,444.798 so to the nearest kilometer this will be 4,445. This will be 45 kilometers. Simbo. And that is Simbo. how we're supposed to Simbo. solve that question.